So hey guys, um, I filmed a video a few days ago, but it was fuzzy, so I had to redo it. Um, but the topic today that I want to talk about is why am I still playing women's hockey? And why is that a big deal? So uh, I just want to go right into it. It's a topic that has been weighing on a lot of people's minds. I have had a lot of people, a lot of ignorant comments saying why, if he asserts himself as a man, then why is he still playing in a women's league? If he's such a man, why is he still doing this? Blah, blah, blah. All of that. So I just want to address it. I just want to tackle it head on. So um, I try not to read negativity and I don't read the comments of the majority of the articles that are written about me. Uh, but what I do do is uh, I look up the hashtag of myself on Tumblr to see if people have asked me things, to see if people have tagged me in things. Uh, obviously I can't catch everything, but I tried to stay on top of it that way. And it was after doing that, that I saw some negativity. Um, and now I expect some negativity coming from people that um, don't understand, that are maybe cis, and they, they've never dealt with anybody that's transgender or minorities or anything like that. Like I do, I do expect that to happen. And that's the reason, some of the reasons why I do all the interviews that I do is to educate people. Also to be a beacon of hope for people. Um, but through that, I've actually seen through Tumblr, trans women and trans men talk about me negatively. Um, I looked at the tag a little bit more of Harrison Brown and I actually even found a video of a fellow trans man um, ranting about me on how I shouldn't be playing in the league that I'm playing in. Now, that is what hurts me more than seeing like negative comments from people that don't get it because I don't expect them to. I don't expect things from these people, but I do expect certain things from the trans community, from the LGBT community because we're a, we are a community. We're together and they've gone through struggles and I've definitely gone through struggles and the fact that they're trying to tear me down, it just, that's what baffles me. I don't, I don't understand that. So um, that's what I'm going to address today is, is how, to, how to get over being beat down by somebody that you thought would have your back because that probably is what hurts the most. So um, the people that have been criticizing me have not done the research on what they're criticizing me about. So um, there's a policy out now that um, caters to transgender people in the NWHL and this policy allows both trans women and trans, man, trans men to play in the league. So I fought for trans women. I fought for pre-op trans men. Trans women can play in the league as long as the hormone suppressors that they've been taking allows them to have the same estrogen levels as a cis female. Now I think that's completely fair. Trans men are allowed to play in the league, so anyone that's born female is allowed to play in the league as long as they haven't taken hormone therapy to achieve their desired gender, which would be male for me. So as long as I haven't taken testosterone, I'm allowed to play. And that is the same rule for everybody else. I'm not getting any special treatment. And that is what people have been saying, is that I'm getting some sort of special treatment. No, I'm not. Um, I'm transgender, yes, I do identify as a male. But I am in a female body. And I don't have the same advantages as a male would. And I'm not going to go in here and state all the differences in biology, but it just does not make sense for me to play on the men's side. Now, uh, it may be different for other sports, but men's hockey versus women's hockey is a different game. For those of you that don't really know about hockey, there's a rule that's called body checking. And in men, it's legal. In women, it's not. So I have never played men's hockey. I started playing hockey when I was nine, which is a little bit later than most. So this typical story of a female hockey player is that they start off playing men's hockey, or boys hockey if you will, and they play it until puberty hits, until the boys start to develop and the boys start to get bigger. And I guess the game is more physical because body checking is implemented later on. It's, in, it's implemented when you're, I believe 10, I'm not entirely sure, but when you get about that age is when hitting starts to be introduced into the boys game and that's usually when the girls that have been playing boys hockey make the shift but if you ask the majority of the girls why did they switch safety uh, they are playing against boys that are a lot bigger than them a lot stronger than them 
and it's just unsafe. And that's one of the reasons why I'm still playing women's hockey is because I've never been trained to body check. I've never been trained how to properly hit. I've never been trained how to take a hit. I've never been trained on what positions not to put myself in to be vulnerable. So it would be extremely unsafe of me to just make the switch. Now, maybe when I was younger, it wouldn't have been as dangerous, but I can't, I'm 23 years old. I can't simply just go into a men's league when I'm still in the body that I'm in. So the main reason why I'm still playing women's hockey is safety. I am five foot four, 120 pounds. I've mentioned this in a lot of things, but I'm very small. And I'm not just sitting here saying that just because I'm small means that I can't play in this in a men's league. No, that's not the case. It's the body type. The muscle mass, like testosterone, is a huge game changer. Um, if anybody is FTM or anybody that's taking testosterone, um, they always talk about how their muscle mass just suddenly starts to shift. And obviously, if anyone has been around boys during puberty, or boys growing up, their muscle mass is definitely more than a female muscle mass. And that's not, that's, yeah, it's unfair, but that's just the way that it's made up. And so to put things into perspective, my bench press is about 120 pounds. And I was on the ice uh, like a week ago with a 16 year old boy and his bench press was 230. Now I'm many years older than 16 and my muscle mass has developed into what it can. And, but his muscle mass has not developed into what it can. He's 16 years old, he still has a lot more to grow. And the discrepancy will just get bigger and bigger as, the, as men get older. So, these people that are criticizing me and wondering what the hell I'm doing, I don't think they've played hockey at an elite level, and, or at all. So I just don't think they understand. And my whole thing is I don't need to prove myself to the doubters. I don't need to prove myself to people that are out to scrutinize me, to bring me down. That's not what it is about. I'd be talking to my face is blue. But it's just a reoccurring theme that I see and I just want to address it because it's from the trans community. Like, I'm fighting for you guys. All I do is answer questions from fellow trans people. All I do is advocate for trans people. Um, I'm supporting everybody. And I expect the same because we're a community. We have so much going against us. We have so many people that try to tear us down, try to discredit us, people that try to belittle our lifestyle. The last thing I need is somebody that's transgender critiquing what I'm doing because this is, this is what I'm doing. This is my path on my transition. This is not about you and what I'm doing with my life, my professional career is none of your business. And I think that people, especially trans people, that are making these comments about me need to just take a look in the mirror and think, hey, I have a lot of stuff going against me. My life's not that easy. Imagine what Harrison Brown is going through too. And I'm not here to cry about it. I'm not here to have a sob story because I'm stronger than that. But I just want people to just take into consideration and just think before they start making comments, spreading videos and having people, filling people with false information because, yeah, the league is allowing a trans men to play. Yes, but we're also allowing trans women to play too. It's fair for both parties. We all need to stick together, especially now. Society has taken a turn in a, in a weird way lately, and I think people know what I'm talking about. And we all need to be strong. We don't need to turn and fight against each other much stuff going on and um, I just want people to know that I know this video is a little bit about negativity and everything like that but I'm that's this is the lesson that I want to teach is that you're gonna be brought down by people that you thought would support you and that probably is the most hurtful it's way more hurtful than people that you would expect to be hateful so anybody um, that has anybody going through this um, anybody that's throwing shade if you will um, just know that you're better than that and you're, you're, you have tough skin and I have tough skin too so I'm, I'm hurt right now. I'm gonna lick my wounds and I'm gonna get over it but um, I just want you guys to know that some days are bad. Some days world gets the best of me but I'm strong and I will bounce right back and this is not this is not a loss in any means. It's a, it's a way to look at and learn a lesson through. Anyways, 
was my little rant. Thank you for everybody that's written me such nice notes, thanking me and letting me know that my story has helped them and to keep doing what I'm doing and that they support me. That stuff helps me get through these tough times and I really appreciate all the tweets, all the messages on Tumblr, it's amazing. I love, I get a bunch of it every day and I love reading them so um, I'll try to respond to as many as I can but uh, I can't get to them all. But thank you so much because without you guys, I wouldn't be where I am today. And that's definitely true. So um, thank you for watching. Thank you for all the support. Stay strong, I'm here for you. And take care.